My name is uh, Julia Candlish. I'm the Director of Education here at the Chiefs of Ontario. Uh, one, of the, one of the challenges that we face here uh, in education is when we're dealing with uh, federal governments, provincial governments, officials, bureaucrats, um, they don't really understand how the First Nations are structured within Ontario. There's 13 nations um, that have been divided up and par parceled out into different areas in, in Ontario and this makes it very challenging for us to re-establish our nationhood, re-establish the traditional ways our culture, our traditions, our languages have all been compromised because of this division that, is, that has occurred over time. If First Nations can get the type of connectivity that exists in the mainstream communities, because that doesn't always happen, especially for those communities in the North, um, then we can really start embracing that internet culture, that culture of, um, of being able to communicate with each other regardless of where we, where we reside. When we talk to government officials, about reconciliation, this needs to be understood because understanding how to reconcile the relationship between First Nation people and the, uh, and the settlers in this area, it all has to be understood about how, how we came to be so divided, uh, why, why there is so much diversity and why it is challenging to kind of reestablish ourselves as nations. So the, the, the transition from being 13 nations that had your own language, had your own education system, had your own governance system, transitioning from that to where we are today with 133 separate individual First Nation communities is, uh, is just not very well understood. How that happened, why that happened and how that has resulted in so many of the issues and concerns that we, that we face today, especially with relation to First Nation education.